The Safe Zone 3 comes out of, in an out-of-box configuration with no IP address. The easiest way that I find is to find a computer with BootP, or you can, you can install BootP from our Rockwell website. Just take your cord to eliminate all network traffic and plug this directly into your computer. So in the next step, as you will see on screen, this will be plugged directly into my PC, eliminating any other items or any other traffic that might be trying to boot me or that be working on the network. So it's an old field service trick I learned. Plug device you want to boot me into computer, eliminate all other items that may be interfering. To find the Rockwell Automation Boot P utility, simply go to Rock Google, type in Rockwell Automation and Boot P. What you'll find is the second one down it says find downloads on the product compatibility download center. I click on that and there it is for me to download if I need it. On my computer I've already installed it so I'm just going to find where I put it and then boot it and I find boot key. I need to know what Ethernet adapter or network interface that I'm using and for me it's my uh, 192.160.199 my private network that I use for programming on my PLCs. So since I'm directly connected to this device, there's nothing else that I'm connecting to. I should be able to see the MAC ID pop up. It's listening right now for the connected devices. And within a couple seconds here, we'll see what's come up. I find the uh, MAC ID. This is exactly the MAC ID that's written on the bottom of my Safe Zone 3 scanner. And because there's nothing else in my network and the old field engineer trick that I'm directly plugged into it, that is my device beyond a doubt. So I click on that. What I want to do is I want to add a relationship. I'm going to type in an IP address, 192.168.1. I'm going to make it something I can remember or use fairly simply. Safe Zone 3, 3 works pretty good for me. I click OK. Um, and 192.168, it caught the fact that I typed in something incorrectly. So I type, say OK. And it says that 192.168.1 was sent out to that MAC ID address. So it's out there. That's good news. So it's been out there and sometimes I like to wait a little bit to make sure that the device itself has received that. Sometimes if you're a little quick on the trigger, the next step of disabling boot P may not work quite as expected. So let's give it a shot. It's sent out there and it looks like the device is happy. Let us give a shot here going to disable boot P and so it's waiting a response and it says yep disable DHCP command is successful uh, so now I have a static IP in my device and if I pull up a command prompt I should be looking that device in 192.168.1.3 and I'm talking to it so good news is with the ping I know it's there I know it's got an IP and I know I've disabled so we are ready to safe zone scanner on our network and hook it up to our uh, GuardLogic safety control.